Hi, in this short tutorial, I'll take a look at the new Smart Bake Hierarchy feature introduced inside of my Extension Pack 5. If you're using the Node Graph, you're probably familiar with the Bake Point system. The Bake Point system works by creating a bake down version of the input stream at any point, so which makes it a lot lighter to compute inside of Mari. Mari by default has a variety of options to deal with bake points. So under the Edit group, Bake Points, we have a number of options to deal with updating bake points. We have, for example, the update selected, update downstream, and the smart bake and update. Smart bake and update updates all bake points in the current graph. So it checks if a bake point is unbaked, so it has no bake at all, or it's an out of date bake point. So let's launch this. You can see the bake points became green, meaning they're up to date and match the result of the nodes that are feeding into them. If I make a change inside of the nodes feeding into the bake point, this bake point becomes out of date, meaning it no longer matches the result of the input stream. Let me quickly redo the smart bacon update so everything is green. Now I have a group node here. Group nodes house other nodes and collapse them down into a more manageable visual display. Let's look inside of the group. And you can see I have in here two input streams as well, and also bake points in these input streams. Now, even though I launched the smart bake and update in the root node graph, Mari did not traverse inside of the group node and updated these bake points. This seems to be an oversight on the Mari side of things. And to deal with this, I've introduced the smart bake hierarchy mode. So under the edit bake points, we now have a new smart bake hierarchy. Smart bake hierarchy works off selected nodes, so it is, it's a little bit different from the smart bake and update, which can be run without having a node selected. So first I need to select a node. I'm gonna choose bake points, smart bake hierarchy. If I step back into the group, you can see the bake point here became green. So Mari correctly traversed inside of the group node and updated the bake point. You might notice that the second bake point is not updated. That is because the smart bake hierarchy feature only checks connections that are actually made. So here I have two outputs on my group node, but only the upstream and downstream connections feed into the first output. So this is why this feature only updated the first output. If I were to make a second connection, so I'm gonna use the output two here and connect it to this node as well. Select the merge node and choose the smart bag hierarchy. In this case, Mari updated both nodes as well. So this is a nice little feature because it allows you to manage group nodes and material nodes a lot better because you can update selectively parts inside of the material and Mari will only need to rebake these parts inside of the material.